Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to create a membership site with System. Now this is going to be a step-by-step -step process and it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it so let's get started right away. Before I begin I do want to let you know that System comes with a free account. That's what I'm using in this demo so I'll put a link down below in case you'd like to try them out for free. No card needed of course unless you want to upgrade. So once you're on the inside what we need to do is go to products and sales, hover over that and go to courses. That's where I am now. Given the fact I'm starting from scratch it's going to have nothing there which is probably what it looks like in your dashboard as well. Let's click on the add a new course. So just to save time, I'm going to go through and enter in some of the most important aspects of this. Then, of course, you can go through and change it for yourself. But give me a second. I'm going to enter in the information and then I'll talk about it. All right, so here we are with the name. I put Affilio Blueprint. This is a course I have in Adilo, which means that's where I have it in video hosting. So I'm just going to use that for some of the videos. I put a quick description, uh, the URL path aside from what you have signed up. I'm just going to put AB, which is short for the name. Uh, course domain, I'm just going to stick with what I have. Theme's going to be green. You can mess around with the fonts, of course, if you want. Instructor name, this is where the logo and the images are going to be. If this is going to be if you need any HTML or code in that section, which you can leave blank for now. I like showing mod module titles for students. Uh, for the sales page, we don't need to worry about right now since we're not going to worry about creating that. We want the actual content in there. So that looks good. Let's click on save. And then of course, it's going to say, oops, it looks like this list is empty. Of course, we want to click on the add module section. Let's just do module one, save. And from there, every time we have a module, it's kind of like a chapter in a book. We want to add a lecture to it. So, so first lecture, let's call it the introduction. That's usually what I do for my courses. I like the video template. Uh, you can use the non one, or I believe this is non video. This is more of a picture. Yes, correct. And then we have the video one. So I'm going to use that. Let's click on save. So here's what it looks like when you're going to be editing any of your lectures. This is going to be the same exact as using like the landing page editor. So it's cool. You don't have to learn you know, too many new things. What I want to do here is click on the video here. And what I'm going to do is replace that with the link or simply embed the file that I already have. If you're using YouTube, you can obviously direct the link as it shows. You can use a custom embed or you can just upload the file. I'm going to go to custom embed. What I want to do is go to the introduction here. So this is going to be different depending on where you have your videos hosted. I'm going to click on share and embed for this. I want responsive and then I'm just going to copy this. And what I want to do is go back to the editor so we can go edit code. Let's paste this in there and click save. Cool. So that's going to be my video there. And pretty much everything else is going to be up to you. Lecture one, like introduction. And this is going to be where you talk about what it's all about in terms of editing this, like you can just control a highlight it all. And then of course, simply add some notes. I'm not going to be, you know, adding all of this. This is pretty self-explanatory. As long as you know how to do it, you can delete a lot of these sections. For example, if you don't need recommended references, you can highlight the complete row here and delete that. Click on OK. Same thing when it comes to this section. And if you want to utilize notes, this is a cool aspect. Like so the biggest takeaways, you know, when someone goes through your course, you want to make sure that, hey, this is what you're going to get out of it, the most important steps, and so on and so forth. Once again, you can always change around this image right here is where the image file is going to be. You can upload that. Uh, you can select the file or paste URL. You can delete it. I'm just going to keep that just to create things, just to make things simple. And let's just save the changes now. Okay, let's go back. So let's say now we have, uh, that's our first module and our first introduction. Let's say we have one more lecture in that. Let's just call this explaining AB. Okay, I like keeping this zero. I want everything to be open right away, but you can always change that around if you want. Once again, let's go to the page template with the video. And I'm going to get another video just to put in here. Give me one second. Okay, so here's the next video. I'm going to click on share and embed. Keep in mind, once again, this is going to be different depending on where you're hosting your videos. I want to copy that. I'm going to go back here, click on the video, custom embed, edit code. Let's paste that in and save. And this is going to be the same thing down below. Once again, you can change this around. So uh, depending on what the video is going to be about, you know, this is lecture one. This is going to be, you know, A, B explained. And then you can have some cliff notes there, what it's about. And you can have the most important sections. Once again, you can delete that. But that's, of course, going to be the aesthetics part. And that's going to be based upon what you have as your course and what you would like to have there. Heck, you can pretty much just have the video and just a little bit of words there. Like you can go in and delete this. Let's get that section two. Let's see. We want to delete that. 
And of course, this section, what you got to do is kind of look for the blue there. That's the bigger row. So there we go. And if you want it to look like that, you can just simply do that. We have a video and a little bit under it. And let's go back here. And once again, say you only have two videos in the first module. What we can do, obviously, is add another module or a lecture. It's going to be up to you. You can keep going. But let's say we want another module. Let's go to add module. This will be number two. Save. And of course, now, once again, we're going to be in this section right here in the second one. So if we want to add to that uh, spot right there, let's go to add lecture. Let's say like getting traffic. Just as an example, we're going with videos again. And give me a second, I'm just going to get one more video. Okay, so here's an example when it comes to TikTok, just an example video. Once again, I'm going to go with responsive. I'm going to copy this. I want the embed for this specific section. Edit code. Paste that in there. Save. And I'm not going to toy around with this. We know how to do that. Let's save changes. And there's one more important thing that I want to show you. So let's go back. And anytime you have a lecture, after you're done with it and it's ready to go, make sure you click on this, publish and click on confirm. If you don't do that, it's not going to show in the preview. Let's go to the first module as well. And let's do that now. A very important part of it. Otherwise, when you do go to open it up, it's just going to show like there's no lectures there or anything. So perfect. So now that all of those are good, we can see we have the X's there, meaning we can unpublish them. Let's remove that. OK, let's click on preview. And there we have it. This is going to be everything we have added to it. Uh, I can click on play. Hey, it's James Ken. Uh, it's going to talk over me, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but that's the, the first one. There's also the aspect of marking it as complete, which is cool, where it's going to show you how much you've done. I know a lot of course aspects do that. I think Teachable is big on that. Uh, a lot of them are. Uh, we have the next one in terms of the lecture. Then, of course, we have module two if we want to skip over to that. Uh, how do I become a millionaire? That's just the random text. But all in all, that's a very quick example of what you can do when it comes to creating a membership site with System. Like I said, they do come with a free plan, which is cool. I will leave a link down below. But I hope this gave you some value and kind of showed you how to walk through the process when it comes to creating that membership site, uploading some videos, and of course, editing the uh, information that's going to be on the inside. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.